Welcome to Cinemasaurus Rex. I'm Rocket, and this week it's Godzilla vs. Hedera. Now, this one is just a little bit mental. Godzilla does defend his title, he has a good three fights in this, and it does not go easy for him. But let's kind of start with the plot here. The plot kind of is about a fisherman who finds a giant tadpole. He's like, oh no, what's this? What is this giant fish? And a little boy goes, it's a tadpole. He says, alright, it's a bit big for a tadpole, isn't it? He's like, it is, it is, it's a bit big. Let's talk about this little kid, though, because he's got two toys of Godzilla and the toy of King Ghidorah. Now, who's making these? Right, if, if there's some giant, like, monster that's attacking, you know, a negative force on the world, he's trying to kill everyone, they wouldn't be making toys, especially Ghidorah. I mean, Godzilla, he's had a couple of fierce moments, but Ghidorah, he's a straight-out badass. I mean, they would not be making toys of this guy. I mean, it's just like Lego knocking up the 9-11 set. It's just not going to happen. Stuff like that just does not get made into kids' toys. So, we see this ship's going down and um, on the news, and it's, what well, is Hedera. I don't, a little boy names it Hedera. He gets it, and a dream comes to him. He's like, oh, Hedera. The monster's called Hedera. And it sticks, the news call him Hedera, everyone calls him Hedera from here on out. So he appears on the news, they catch him from an helicopter. So the little boy and his dad said, oh no, look, where that polluted sea is, let's, that's where Hedera is, let's go down it. So his dad gets his scuba equipment, jumps into the sea, little boy's there, playing with a knife, killing crabs. Well, he looks like he's killing crabs, he's just playing with a knife and all you can see is dead crabs. So from what I get, the little boy's just stabbing crabs. From what I can... Anyway, Hedera sees him. He goes, jumps at the little boy, the little boy doesn't know what to do, so he just sticks his knife in the air, kind of slits Hedera's gut, stomach, whatever the hell he's made of, open, and then Hedera ends up back in the scene and fucks off. So Hedera sees the little boy, comes at him, and then fucks off. So he's scared of this little boy. We go to the news, they're talking about these, how these ships have been destroyed, and he goes, well, this is a demonstration of what might have happened. So we see Hedera picking up a ship, and we're like this, eating it. I was like, I'm pretty sure that didn't happen. I don't know who's doing your cartoons, mate, but he's, he's bang out of order. He's crazy, that man. Anyway, Godzilla sees this on the news. He sees it. He must he must be what a keen watcher of the news, Godzilla. And he has a, a Rocky Four moment here. You know when Apollo Creed learns about Ivan Drago coming over? He's like, I'll take this chump out, no problem. And Godzilla gets that same idea. He's not even prepared for this fight, he just comes out cocky as shit saying BANG! I'm gonna slap this in the head. Does not go down well for him. So Hedera, Hedera's not prepared for this fight either at the moment. He doesn't know about Godzilla. Hedera, he's like hitting the pipe, you know, he's, he's going a bit, you know. He's there at the nuclear power plant taking in them fumes, he's having the time of his life. He's like, yeah man, yeah man, loving this. Then he hears Godzilla raw, he's like, fuck, what the fuck's this? What's going on? Doesn't know what day it is. Because now, first fight, Godzilla versus Hedera. Hedera jumps up in. Godzilla's kind of got him up in like a, a gorilla press slam. He's about to slam him, but he can't. Hedera takes him down. Hedera's then covering him. He gets a pin. He's like a one, two, and oh, Godzilla just kicks out. He's very close. He is. Then Godzilla gets him up, gets the giant swing on him, spinning him round. Bits of Hedera go flying all over the shore. And he flings Hedera. Then we kind of cut away, and there's some other. There's a little disco scene going on. This disco doesn't really contribute anywhere, apparently. There's some kind of rally going on about anti pollution. So, a bit of sludge that flicks off Hedera ends up in this disco. And all people go, oh no, sludge! And then a little cat gets covered in sludge. Then this sludge goes back upstairs to try and get back to Hedera so it can become bigger again. After this little disco scene, we go back to Godzilla Hedera, which is kind of still going on. So he's just had been giant swung. So, giant swung? So Godzilla starts breaking out dance moves. He has a little dance competition in the middle of this fight, not too sure what the reason is. Hedera's doing all this, and Godzilla's going it all like that. And then Hedera, completely, you know, I mean, in the middle of a dance competition, you don't start flinging shit. But this guy does, flings toxic shit in Godzilla's face. He's like, what fucks up Godzilla's eye? Godzilla can't see for the rest of the movie, he's like, they have one eye. Godzilla just blasts atomic breath right at Hedera. Hedera not prepared for this at all. Whoa, Hedera goes. He's like, whoa, whoa, gets out of there. So Godzilla wins. Godzilla's still your heavyweight champion, but only just. 
So we go to the scientists who are trying to figure out how we can deal with Hedera. And uh, they're like, oh god, we've got bits of Hedera. And it's like, oh look at all this sulfur here. Let's go, come here, come here. Right, look at this sulfur here. Right, there's little yellow bits, little white bits. They obviously interact with this. Right, and while this is going on, there's a girl, there's a woman in the background who's part of it. She goes, this is a nice it's house. Like, Are you fucking kidding me, love? First of all, this is my lab. This isn't your house. I'm not giving you a tour. Second of all, you, like, there's a giant monster out there killing stuff. There's, we're here with sulfuric acid trying to figure out what the fuck's going on and you're telling me I have a nice house. Right, thanks for the compliment, but what the fuck are you doing? Just, I mean, I don't know why, why that's in the film. I mean, why does she say it's a nice house? It's like, it's just not needed. But then see the news and... Uh, the, talking about the evolution of Hedera. It's like Pokemon this. It's stage one, stage two, stage three. What will be next? Who's that Pokemon? So Hedera at, at this point, you know, evolved and he's flying. And every time he flies, he gasses people and people die. He actually turns into skeletons. He just like full on kills them. And this is where we get our second fight Godzilla versus Hedera. It's, like, it's a very short fight, this. Hedera jumps into Godzilla then gasses him and out, Godzilla goes down, and then Hedera just fucks off. It's like, oh, what are you doing, Hedera? Hedera could have won the title here because Godzilla is down and out. Hedera goes for a cover, he's got this match won, but he just runs off. He just gasses him, runs off, not too sure what it is. Godzilla doesn't know what the fucking day it is. Hedera's got it. Hedera should, should be a champion. But he, le he just goes, he leaves the arena. Godzilla wins on a count out. I mean... Very close. I mean, all he had to do was pin his shoulders down and it would have been a different scenario. So let's come to our third and final fight. In the middle of this, the kind of sussed out how you get rid of Hedera. You get two giant batteries, fire electric between the two, and it'll dry out the sludge of Hedera. So they've made like 40 foot ones or something. You're going to get Hedera to walk through it and then dry him out, basically. But whilst they're doing all this, the Hedera kind of knocks the power out of Godzilla and Hedera are going towards the saw in round 3 the, th the third fight now Hedera all he's got to do he knows he can beat Godzilla he had him he had him beat for some reason left the arena so Godzilla and Hedera start fighting again well they do a little dance again and they start fighting uh, Hedera gets Godzilla down gasses him out then he picks up Godzilla flies up like Mount Fuji drops him on Mount Fuji falls down into this big ditch and then Hedera I mean, these are some literally dirty tactics. Hedera then starts to shit all over Godzilla. Literally shits all over him. Tries to actually cover him in shit. It's like a buried alive match or something, but in shit. So he's doing that. And then and then he just gets distracted by these helicopters that uh, drop. I don't know what they're dropping. Some kind of bombs at him. It doesn't do anything anywhere, but at least so Hedera's there. Like, what's going on? He gets rid of these helicopters. And we cut away again to some of her bullshit. And then we don't know what's happened in here, but when we cut back to the fight, Godzilla's back up and he's fighting away at Hedera, going toe to toe with him. And then Hedera goes to fire his red laser beam, and Godzilla gets cocky. He tries to stop it with a karate chop. No idea why. It doesn't work. He just ends up burning his hand. It's like, ah, for fuck's sake. Don't know what's going on. So, Hedera puts Godzilla down yet again. And then he goes on this little tam. Uh, he's about to like on a rampage, but they're going to get me in between the electrics or the army rocket. But Godzilla's down again. Hedra could have won again if he wanted, but he's doing this and they're faffing about the army, trying to get him to walk between his things so they can electrocute him. But the power's been cut, so they can't. So they're like, oh no, get the construction man quick. We need to get power back on. Godzilla overhears this. He's like, hey, up. They need me. Lads need me. So Godzilla. As Hedera is crossing through this thing, which is no power, Godzilla blasts it, causes all this electricity, starts frying Hedera, drying him all out. He's like, yes, got him. Then, Godzilla, not finished her. Uh, at first, I thought Godzilla was ripping his eyeballs out, but turns out it's his testicles. He literally gets his testicles in his hand and dries them out and crumbles in his hand. And... I thought there was his eyeballs until the next scene, as he's about to stamp on the remains of what looked like Hedera. Hedera is still, he's still alive, and his eyes are still intact, so it's definitely not his eyeballs that he's ripped out. He ripped out Hedera's balls, literally. 
So this is where we see Godzilla's new skill. He can now fly. I think he's been copying header or something. So he's like shooting laser. At the he's a uh, something breath at the floor and kind of takes off, catches up with Hedera, brings him back to the electric, and then they just fry him again. And then this time Godzilla doesn't stop, he just goes sick, he starts ripping chunks out of him, he's like going fucking mental, Godzilla's like just ripping bits out of him and make sure there's literally nothing left of Hedera. So Godzilla wins the fight, and Godzilla is still the heavyweight champion now. Just about won the fight, there was a lot of interference and help from the army and stuff were going on. Hedera could have been your new champion easily, so... I mean, we have three fights, well, the second fight we're not really going to count, we're just like two big fights, they are kind of broken up in between the scenes, so... I don't know if I should recommend the film or not, because it's just crazy, we get little cartoon sections, we get a weird disco section, I mean... The opening theme's like something out of James Bond, this woman singing, it's just like, it's like we, we had Ebra coming out of the sea with his little gun, he'd have been perfect at this role, having this, and Godzilla's entrance music, for some reason, Godzilla's changed his entrance music for this film, every time he comes in, he comes to like, bloody, a, a brass band playing for some reason, so, his new entrance scene's a bit shit, maybe that's what distracts him, he didn't have the eye of the tiger, that's what it was, he did not have the eye of the tiger, so, I can recommend the fights because Godzilla nearly loses. I mean, Godzilla nearly lost against Spiger, remember. He went for Manila, breaking up that free count. Godzilla would have lost his title there. But Godzilla really nearly loses his title here because he's not got anyone helping him. He's down and out for the count on numerous occasions. And Hedera just walks off instead of finishing the job. So Hedera could have got rid of Godzilla here. Godzilla got too big for his boots and it nearly cost him. So. For that, I will recommend watching some of the fights. I might just recommend the whole film because it's not that long and it's just mental. Our next film next week, Godzilla vs. Gigan. Now, I can't remember this film specifically, but I remember the, I remember the monster Gigan quite a lot. And he looks pretty kick-ass. He's got his big claws. He's like a giant kung fu chicken kind of thing. So Gigan's pretty badass. So I'm expecting a good one here. I'm hoping next week. So. Godzilla needs to get his shit together as well, he wants, you know, he's got a tough fight on his hands, so um, I'm pretty sure the title will be on the line, so next week, title on the line, Godzilla vs. Gigan.